Hi everybody, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, one cruise ship certainly had a very eventful week. Everything from an explosion on board and a fire to a search and rescue at sea. So last weekend, the p and cruise ship Iona had a passenger on board who was using a scooter. And unfortunately, apparently the battery on the scooter exploded. And there is a, a TikTok video out there showing that somebody was just scanning around and heard a big noise and kind of scanned up with their phone and you could see a big bang like this come from the top of the balcony and then you can see crew members quickly moving over there and an elderly gentleman in crutches being escorted away apparently the battery on the scooter um lithium battery did explode caused a short fire it was quickly put out by the depression system on the cruise ship and the crew quickly moved people away from the area and nobody was injured. Luckily, no one was sitting on that scooter apparently when this happened. That's a good thing, but as if that wasn't enough excitement, if that wasn't enough excitement on the cruise, they also were notified around 5.30 in the morning that their ship had to divert from its trip after leaving Southampton because of that tragedy at sea between the two cargo ships. One of the British cargo ships um, actually collided and sunk. And unfortunately for that one, uh, one crew member is confirmed deceased, two were rescued, and four uh, to this moment are still missing. Uh, as far as the crew members on the other ship, there was no reported injuries or anything from the other ship. So apparently the ship, after the collision, which happened around 3 a.m., around 10 nautical miles or so off the coast of Germany, and it sunk in about 100 feet of water, apparently. Uh, it seems like, hey, you know, it's only 100 feet of water. It should, you know, it's... But uh, yeah, those seas can be rough and cold and you can catch hypothermia really quickly out there. Um, it's, it's, it's a wonder that anyone was rescued at all and good news that some crew members actually were. The search and rescue teams are still in the area but the cruise ship Iona has been set loose and uh, continuing on with the passengers vacation we'll find out more about what caused this accident in the future as of course there will be a full maritime investigation into this uh, accident out there especially when lives are lost at sea and again condolences go out to all the friends family and fellow crew members of those lost at sea on that British cargo ship. We also have two of the five people charged in that Montgomery brawl that happened, the waterfront brawl where the 227 passenger cruise ship was trying to pull in to its own private dock where they owned that landing spot and there was a pontoon boat there. And after 45 minutes of the captain trying on the PA system to get somebody to move the pontoon boat and hearing people on shore basically telling them where to go, you know what I mean by that, you know, giving them the you know what, uh, the captain got ridden ashore with a, another crew member uh, on a smaller boat and they tried to call whoever owned it to come down and move it and again they were met with jeers etc and then when they tried to move the pontoon boat forward so they could pull the cruise ship in they were attacked by members who were owning that pontoon boat uh, two of them have already been charged one of them was charged with you know uh, basically 
uh, needing to go to anger management classes as well as the court costs. One was charged actually 30 days in jail to be served on the weekends and court costs again and anger management again. The other three are yet to be charged but they'll be coming up in the future and uh, this is one of those things where there was tons of video evidence and uh, yeah it was 100% their fault and as far as I'm concerned they were lucky very very lucky to get off with the charges as light as they are first of all they were in the wrong they had their boat parked in a spot that was not theirs not only that even if they knew you know even if they didn't realize they were parked in a spot that wasn't theirs once they were announcing them on the pa system saying this is a private dock this is the cruise ship's dock please move your boat and they didn't fail to respond they failed to do anything they just didn't care they immediately became the aggressors in this situation and then of course they were actually the ones who threw the very first punch so yeah court costs misdemeanor uh third degree assault i think they get off very very lucky and we'll see what happens to the remaining three it's just a, a dumb story that should never have happened because people should have a little more smarts in their head and a little more you know brains but i guess some people just just don't well i hope you appreciate this video if you did please give it a thumbs up want to see more tips more tricks more travel vlogs from around the world hit that subscribe button until next time have yourself a safe and a great vacation